Some people say that the Las Vegas Strip is a jungle. Well, not too far away, just a few short miles, is a place you probably haven't heard of, but you definitely should. It's a whole new world at the Lion Habitat. The Lion Habitat Ranch rescues and protects lions and other exotic animals in Southern Nevada. I'm here to meet Keith Evans and experience a day in the life of the king of the wild. I think I may have found my new best friend. This is Keith right here. Good seeing you, buddy. Nice to meet you, John. How long have you been here? Well, we've been in this location since 89. We started doing the MGM Habitat in 97, and uh, all the cats went from here every day to the Habitat. Longtime Las Vegas residents might remember the lion habitat from the MGM Grand. When the show closed in 2012, the lions stepped out of the spotlight but continue to live at the ranch. And tell me about the animals that you have here. What, what do you have? Well, there's 39 lions, some of them are original descendants from the MGM Studios, the logo lion that roars in the movies. And then we brought in different bloodlines to make sure that we have a genetic safety net, that, you know. Lions are disappearing in the wild, so while everybody wants them to be loose and running free in Africa, they're being killed in Africa, and we want them to be staying on the planet Earth. Your purpose here is soulful. It's just not for people to come by and, and gawk at the lions. You're trying to raise awareness, yeah? Yeah, because if you start falling in love with the lions here and watch how they interact with our trainers, then you're more perceptive that maybe I should be saving the lions in the wild. There's a value to it. Keith has been working with big cats since 1970. What started as a hobby developed into a lifetime of dedication to the species. What do you like about this? The lions are a social group by nature, and so you can bond with them much easier. They accept us under their pride, and so it's, it's a rewarding relationship, and you know you've got their trust, and that's mainly it. You know, they trust us. Ostriches and parrots also found a harbor here at the lion habitat. Rescued from the Las Vegas Zoo, birds like Honey and Watson have a place to call home. All right, you got three beautiful lions here. Tell me about these. These are three females, or sisters, Peaches, Sam, and Tyra, and they're 19 years old now. Lifespan is normally 15 to 20, but we think they're in such good shape that they'll make plus 20. And, and how much do they weigh? They're between 375 and 400. Tell me about their day. What, what happens okay, during well, the day? Well, they wake up around five o'clock in the morning when the first roaring starts on the property. We come on at seven o'clock and feed them and clean their cages, get everything ready for the day, and then they go play the rest of the day. How much do you feed them? The girls are probably eating uh, 11 to 12 pounds a day. 11 to 12 pounds a day, once a day? Yeah, once a day, six days a week. One day a week they get bones, shank bones, so they can get their teeth. And then one day a week they fast so they can clean their system up. Keith loves to watch people's reactions when they see such imperial animals. For me, the real sight is Keith interacting with the lions and the strong bond they share. These are the cubs. Yep. When do you ever get this close? You normally don't. Come here, Winston. Winston, come here. Oh, he's calling them by name. Do they know that their names? Oh, yeah, they know their names. This is Winston. He's the boy. Hey, Winston. He's got four girls for sisters, Chumley, Scarlett, Elsa, and Brody in the back. These five not-so-little cubs were born in the habitat two years ago, and they're still growing. Lions reach adulthood at three years of age. You know, I, I was amazed when we walked up how they looked at you, and I, I'm telling you, they looked at you like one of their own. Well, they are, because I'm with them when they're born. Mom will let us be in there when they get delivered, and then she'll put them on nursing milk, and as long as mom can has the milk and nurses them, we kind of let you know nature take its course, and then at four weeks old, because there were so many of them, we went in and start hand feeding them, because as soon as they get their teeth breaking through, we can start feeding them solid foods. So it takes the pressure off mom. People come to the facility here, will they get to meet you? Because you're a pretty uh, phenomenal guy. Yeah, I mean, I don't spend as much time outside uh, as I could at the moment, but I'm definitely out here to feed the cats. At one o'clock, I'm here and I'll play with the giraffe. I personally have never seen anybody call a lion by name Winston, <laughs> and Winston came on over. And you just said something about a giraffe. Yeah, Ozzy, Ozzy Picasso. Why is it called Picasso? He paints. This I gotta see. Let's go take okay, a look. Okay, we'll take a look. Bye, babies. I've never met a giraffe up close before, but I'm pretty sure they're not known for their artistic inclinations. So okay. how did you figure out that Ozzy paints? Just his inquisitive nature, we started giving him a paintbrush, you know, and then he started picking it up, and then he started to make the moves, and then we figured out he, depending on his activity, uh, he'll either put one stroke down or four or five strokes. So, he, and he likes it. How old is Ozzy? Two and a half. 
And the only, the only it's giraffe. It's the only giraffe in Nevada. In all of Nevada. If you want to see a giraffe, this yeah. is where you got to yeah. go. And, the, and they're endangered also, just like the lions. So we want the same principle. Their, giraffes are actually disappearing faster than the elephants. Recent research shows four different species of giraffes exist instead of just one. The split in the total population represents a higher threat of extinction, considering the distinct species cannot breed with each other. All right, so what do we do? Hi, okay, so sweetie. we're going to have you learn how to paint here. We're going to hand you the canvas. All right. All right, now I'll just hold it up a little higher. That's awesome. All right, three strokes. Pretty good boy. He'll get to be 18 and 19 feet tall, which is just three feet short of this building. Uh, all the fences, he's got a third of an acre to run. Can I take a look? Yeah, you can come take a look. Wow. Ozzy, it's beautiful, just like you. It's gorgeous. Okay, all right, so there's a small chance this is better than any painting I've ever done. And after this masterpiece, Ozzy needs a snack. You wanna put this carrot in your mouth like this? Really? Yeah, just awesome. put a hold in your teeth. All right. Just put it, yeah, he's, gonna, he's gonna look for it. Okay, there he goes, he now knows where it is. Oh, it's awesome, <laughs> that was awesome. A sanctuary to these animals, the Lion Habitat Ranch takes getting in touch with nature to new heights. Thank you so much Thanks for everything. Thanks for coming out, John. Appreciate it. Nevada never ceases to amaze me. It never ceases to surprise me. I mean, when are you going to get kissed by the only giraffe in Nevada? <laughs> <laughs>